Hey guys, Alex from Hogwarts here. Today we're going to be talking about our two inch lowering kit on the touring models. A um, couple of tools that you're going to need is a three quarter wrench, three quarter socket, T25 Torx bit, and a 332nd Allen screw. First thing you're going to do is start by taking off the saddlebags and side covers. So we'll go ahead and do that now. If you have the um, saddlebags and side covers off, you can go ahead and put center stand or jack stand underneath the frame. And what you want to do is jack it up, just fill the back wheels about half inch to an inch off the ground. Um, really need enough just to be able to spin it a little bit. And what that's going to do is when you pull the shock off, it's going to give it some room to drop down. So when you go to put the lowering link in, you've got enough space underneath you. You find out you don't, all you have to do is jack your jack up a little bit more. So now what you want to do is take your three quarter socket and take your OEM shocks off or your whatever shocks you're running. Um, you're going to take them off if you're running air shocks. Pull your air hose out. Again, same thing on the other side. Go ahead and move your upper and lower shock bolt. So I'm going to slide this piece of wood underneath here so that when we drop the tire down, um, it'll be able to kind of, it's going to drop just a little bit and uh, this will be able to catch it a little bit just so that this bolt or any of this stuff doesn't hit, hit your exhaust. Have your shocks off, um, you want to grab the lowering link and the shorter F13 um, three quarter drive screw, put the link in place. This is going to go right in the lower shock mount hole. Make sure you have your lock washer on there. Just kind of hand tight for right now. Take your T55 half, half 13 screws. Um, the ones for the bottom, what you're going to do is leave the washer on the outside. Take the lock washer and the lock nut. These are gonna go on the inside. What you do, take your shock like this, through like that, lock washer on the back side, and your lock nut on the back side. And you kind of position this. And on the top, what we're gonna end up with is a quarter inch spacer. So this needs to go between the mouth in the shock and then again you have t55 um, half 13 screw with the lock washer and a regular washer on there put that in when you're tightening these up at first tightening these up at first you want to uh, don't do real super tight just kind of it's kind of hand tight what you want to do is uh, we want to tighten them up once we drop it back down to the ground. Then you just want to snug these until you drop the bike back down. So once you got um, your bolts all snug, not tight, you want to drop it down Once you got your bolts hand tight, snugged up, you want to drop it back down. And then go ahead and tighten them up. And then once you have everything tightened up, one more adjustment that you want to make, spring shocks, non-air shocks. Um, what you want to do is, you can see the adjusting knob gets close to your, um, to your sprocket here. So what you can do is there's a set screw here on the side. What you want to do is back it out a little bit, like a turn, 
And what that allows you to do is twist this and allows you to make clearance between the adjusting knob and the sprocket. But once you get it cleared out of the way, and just go ahead and retighten this back up. Now the one thing you do want to watch out for is that the inside of the bag will only let you adjust this so far out. So you'll, you may have to adjust it out, make sure your bag will fit. You can check the distance by sight, and then if you say, okay, I need to move it out a little bit more, you can move it out. If your bag's sitting and you need to push it in a little bit, you can push it in at that time. Okay, so the last thing you'll want to do is um, we offer these bag spacers with this kit, and what that does is it spaces your bag out um, a little bit from the bike. So basically all you got to do is stick these guys on the outside of your bag here through these grommets, and then your hand knobs will go right on through them. Again, all this is doing is spacing the bag out a little bit from the side of the bike because we've added that lowering link kit, now this spacer, so your shock is a little bit closer to the inside of your bag. So what we did here is space your bag out.